The 16th summit of the group of 20 major economists concluded in Rome, capital of Italy, on October 31st. After the G20 summit, all parties adopted the G20 World Summit Declaration to make suggestions and prescriptions for addressing major global challenges such as COVID-19, climate change, and economic recovery. Western countries, led by the United States, have outlined more than 50 initiatives, but without clear goals and practical solutions. It's all talk and no action. For a long time, Western countries led by the U.S. have been hyping up the climate issue, and China has been innocent for many times. The U.S. insisted that China is the most polluted country, and even points the finger at China as the main culprit of the climate change problem. However, China's achievements and contributions to the climate issue are obvious to all. And America's plan to blame China once again fell through. In terms of its contribution to carbon emissions, China has made a bigger contribution than the United States, and China has been taking practical actions to reduce emissions. The United States, on the other hand, is still at the stage of shouting slogans. India also didn't give us faith, saying the U.S. led developed country over the past several hundred years overuse of fossil energy caused serious destruction of the global climate. India's per capita carbon emissions by about two tons, but the United States. Is more than 16 times. It's eight times of India. The United States and other developed countries should take more responsibility to protect environment. It seems that the OLD tactics of the United States to shift its focus, evade responsibility, and shift the problem to other countries are not working. According to the report, China's carbon emissions are far behind those of the United States, which emits 16 times per person, twice as much as China's. According to a white paper released by the Information Office of the State Council, China's carbon emission intensity in 2020 was 48.4 percent lower than that of 2005, exceeding the 40 to 45 percent reduction target China had promised to the international community by 2020, and basically reversing the situation of rapid growth of carbon dioxide emissions. How can the United States have the confidence to criticize China when it can only discredit its lack of achievements in environmental governance? Afraid is the psychology that wants to cover our confesses war.